the name of that salad? Calcium. So let's just start, my friend. No. Okay, here we go. And I'm gonna put this salad in there. <laughs> and I want to pay attention. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> what you put in? <laughs> read that. Read the chemical reaction. What did I put there? I'm yes. pretty sure that balloon is gonna fly. And it actually reacts violently, strongly, vigorously. And if you notice, it's a lot colder. That's exothermic or endothermic? Endothermic. Endothermic. Good job, Kulana. I'm pretty sure there's calcium tablets All right. like this. Just don't show any, uh, Fowler, don't show any students. Okay. You got it. Now I'm harvesting which gas? What's the name of that gas? Guess what? I was in the freeway one day and there's a big rig, big tanker filled with that gas in the afternoon. They usually deliver these gases, these big tankers, early in the morning before people wake up. All right? In the middle of the night, they have less traffic and they deliver it safely. I guess the driver got stuck in the middle of the freeway. It was hot that day. The minute I saw hydrogen in the tank, what did I? I exited the freeway right away. And guess what? Like six hours later, it was on the news. And people were driving next to hydrogen. <laughs> I. Come on, you know, knowledge is power. You know this hydrogen tank in the afternoon is hot and you're driving next to it? That's something wrong. Obviously, the person didn't study chemistry with it, but I left and it was six hours later, it was all over the news. Anyway, uh, now I'm collecting what you guys? Hydrogen. Now, if you notice, I already told you this one is a lot colder. So it is endothermic. And now, let's get, it's still, the reaction is still going on. Mm -hmm. And I'm collecting this gas, and let's take it from there. Uh, no, no. As long as the reaction is going on and we're getting more hydrogen, we're gonna keep it going, okay? All right. I still see some pieces over here. Yeah. By the way, look at the periodic table. Tell me calcium in which family in the periodic table. All of you look at the periodic table. Metal. Uh, it is a metal, yes. The left side of the periodic table, yeah. most of it is metal. Uh, what do we call that uh, the group? What's the name of that family? It's family number two. What do we call it? Alkali metals or alkaline earthy metals? Alkaline. Alkaline earthy metals. Good job, you're a smart young man. Alkaline earth metals. So what we're gonna do right now, if you notice, and it's still, still collecting what? Hydrogen. Hydrogen, and you see the calcium is still reacting, mm -hmm. and you see the bubbles, okay? I don't wanna waste that. So if you notice, the more uh, hydrogen we get, the more uh, the balloon is gonna happen to it, it's gonna be more inflated. You can also do this with uh, aluminum. It's, uh, uh, what, what is it? I'm pretty sure it's not endothermic, it's, well. Uh, that, yeah, this is one of the second family group. And uh, guess what? It, as you see, they react vigorously with water. And if you notice over here, water reacts in general with metal form with this hydroxide and they release hydrogen, all right? But if, in this case, I picked up calcium in, because it's the second family. And in the same time, it's kind of safe. It's like if I use one of the elements in the periodic table from the first group, they will react with fire immediately. I cannot do it in the classroom. I have to have a special tank. All right, so I want you to go ahead and uh, pay attention. The reaction is still going on, but most of the, that's here, most of the calcium is gone. So now I have my own what? Hydrogen. So I want you to pay attention what I'm gonna do with it. Here we go. Yes, sir. Twist it, and then you can pull it off.
All right. I didn't want to the hydrogen escape. So I got <coughs> I got it over here. And we're gonna put it over here for you. What do you think is gonna float or not? No. no. So what did, do you see? So hydrogen doesn't float. It also looks like it's yeah. leaking. There we go. Oh, it's leaking. Okay. Yeah, it is. We now have hydrogen in the classroom. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Pretty sure there's a hole in it. Yes, sir. It is leaking. We don't want it to leak, guys. So this balloon is kind of defected. Defected? No. No more. All right. Here we go. You guys, you have just a little bit of hydrogen, all right? <coughs> so how do you test the hydrogen? <coughs> flammability. What is flammability? Fire. <coughs> yeah, then that's what we're gonna do next. All right, so where's the torch? So, here we go. <coughs> uh, we got to turn off the lights for you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And here we go. Here we go. That's a pretty big cigar. And keep an eye on it. <laughs> this is just a small little bit of hydrogen. Can you imagine a big rig on the freeway? Yeah. All right. So you know why I left. All right. Okay. Uh, some some periods get really big ones, so you know I had a girl last year. So you should make a bigger one. So uh, you're, we're gonna do something like this in future again. Very good. Thank you very much. Excellent job. All right, here we go. Okay, you're gonna write everything, pictures, everything. Phenomenal. How are you gonna do if it's phenomenal or not? So, go ahead and we're gonna use what? Fire. Did Light. you start the job? Yeah. Good for you. Here it is. <laughs> we're gonna test the flammability of this. And for my safety, I'm gonna wear my goggles. And I'm gonna actually do this. Okay, are you following? <laughs> Thank you very much. How, what do you think? Was it flammable? Yeah. Okay, that's hydrogen. All right. Uh, so go ahead and record your observations, record everything, and go ahead and do everything that you saw today. Okay, keep an eye on the reaction. 